Penguin to peng friend. Exhibit animals to supermodels. Snow penguins at Ski Dubai. This presentation on Gen 2 photo bench training by Erin McGiddy and Eric J. Novellis will show you the training our Gen 2 penguins have undergone using operant conditioning techniques to learn to station on our photo bench. This gives our guests an up close and once in a lifetime photo opportunity. Through these interactions as part of our Peng Friend Encounter program at Ski Dubai, we aim to promote conservation throughout the United Arab Emirates. So let's jump straight into how to train our behaviour. We use small approximations. This is the key to all training. Having previously taught our Gentoo penguins to use the ramp in and out of their pool, it was easy to redirect the group onto the rock where they were massively reinforced. Once the group would all calmly come in and out, down onto the rock, we could split them into smaller teams of penguins, down to two, which would be their final training teams. After the pairs would come down nice and calmly, we brought down individual penguins. We increased the criteria so that the penguin would have to stand on the highest point on the rock. This would be their final position. Again, they were massively reinforced. We would then change the starting point. We decreased the criteria and increased prompts so that the gentes could clearly understand what was required. From here, we decreased the prompts and only reinforced at the highest point and introduced a short hold so the penguins would stay in position throughout the photos. Then we introduced the guests. We wanted the gentes to have total focus on the trainer and not on the interesting new people next to This meant they got a lot of fish. We then again reduce the amount of prompts and the trainer doesn't have to get so close to the bench when sending the penguins up onto their station. The trainers can now send the penguins from further away from the rock bench. They can hold the penguins for a longer period of time before calling them back down. The trainer now only takes a few steps when sending the gentoos up onto the rock and remains in the same position throughout the hold and asking them to come back down. behaviour. The trainer remains seated and sends the penguin up onto the rock. But wouldn't two penguins be better than one? So we introduced a second station at the end of the photo bench, using the same basic approximations we used to achieve the first station.
the introduction of the guests for the second station was much quicker as the penguins had already experienced this on the training of the first station. We then tried the behaviour with two Gen 2 penguins. We lowered the criteria from the single penguin stationing and increased the prompts so they are very clear on which station they are being asked to go up onto. We once again slowly reduce the amount of prompts and gradually increase the distance of the trainer from the rock bench while sending the penguins up. The trainer this time only needs to take a few steps towards the bench as he sends the penguins nicely, calmly and relaxed. They hold in position, followed by a quick photo before they come down on command. So the final behaviour. The trainer remains seated and sends both penguins up onto the photo bench. Because let's face it, as trainers, the less we can do, the happier we are. So how do we know that we have this under full stimulus control? Well, we use many different exercises to ensure this. One exercise is individually calling the penguins down off the photo bench. They have to remain on the bench until the trainers call them off using name recognition and a hand signal. Another exercise we do is a false start, so the penguins do not anticipate that they will always be sent up by the trainer. We like to keep them on their toes. We've had a lot of things to desense our animals to, bright coloured clothing, local dress, helmets, but this has been our hardest. It turns out that children are actually afraid of penguins. We use our stationing training to station our gentes in many different places, from the snowy walls in our march areas, to making our daily weighing easy and quick. They will even station on random objects. Such as little stools. And artificial rocks. So that leaves us with one question. What's next? Can our king penguins do the same? Well, we've started training and it looks like a yes. However, they aren't nearly as quick or agile as our gentes, so we have to make some allowances for that. If you want to find out more about the penguins at Ski Dubai, you can check out our website, Facebook and Twitter, or come along and meet them for yourself. Become a Peng Friend.